Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. A Rock Cosby, how you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good, man. You? So, so this is like week 10 of quarantine, although places are opening up. How's it in North Carolina? This, like, we're actually, this is the first week, like, phase phase one. Yeah. So, um, we shall see. Yeah. So, I'm hoping everything's smooth. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I feel you. How's, I know. I know. Down in Georgia. I, well, things are opening up. Definitely. I'm. I'm not. I just. I'm just not there yet. Um, I'm staying home. I. The most I do, like, I went to uh, my best friend's house this weekend. But I know he's quarantined, and people in his house, everyone's quarantined. But in case right. business back to normal, no. I, I just can't do it. I, I refuse because the doctors and, and the scientists are saying it's, it's too soon. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But sports is coming back. NASCAR had their first races this weekend without any people in the, in the uh, stands and the audience. Yes. And then baseball, oh, baseball, baseball has announced that they're going to do the same. They have a lot of guidelines, no high five and no showers like in the locker rooms, um, you know, they everyone's trying to figure out a new normal. How do you feel about sports coming back with these new stipulations? I'm just glad that sports is coming back. Like, yeah. We we need this. We yeah. need this. And whatever guidelines that they feel is necessary. As long as they do it safely, you know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. And this is only going to be temporary, right? This yeah. is not going to be permanent. So please, exactly. we're talking about this is the new normal. No, it is a temporary. I think there is a new normal, but I, I don't think that these immediate changes are going to be what's going to be our new normal. You know what I mean? Okay, that's a off offline, off-camera conversation. We can talk about it now. <laughs> oh, can we? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So, we so, but do, you, so you, do you think they, you think, sports. you think, let's, let's talk about this. So, but you think things are going back to normal? You think that? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they will. And what, give me I don't think, an example. Think, think about it like this. 9-11. After 9-11, the whole way we, fl we start flying has changed and has not gone back to normal. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking. No, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that I think some of these new practices are going to become our new normal. I don't think it's going to be this lockdown and we wear a mask every day and that kind of thing. But things are definitely going to change. I believe. Like what? Give me something, Stephen Knight. I mean, I don't. I don't. I think it's yet to be seen. You know what I mean? But we already seen where places that have opened back up and they've had to close, or you know, um, in a lot of places they just have just changed the way they do business. And I think until we get a better handle on what this virus is and what it, you know what I mean? Because we still don't know a lot about it. You know, everything's changed. First kids weren't affected. Now they have this new side effect from coronavirus that's happened with 100, over 130 some kids and at least three died. Um, you know, at first we didn't need to wear a mask. Now we got to wear a mask. It's just, it's just, there's still more information. So until the testing is at the numbers it needs to be at, and until we have more information, there's going to be a change. Okay. Um, side note, everybody, yes, I am playing with the camera, trying to figure everything out. Well, I don't know why he's doing that. We're on the air, but go ahead. We're on the air. This is, <laughs> this, this is live. I mean, this is, hey. All right. So why are you putting, uh, you should have done I'm, all this before. I'm bored. I'm bored. Don't be bored while you're doing the show. Quarantine. Come on, bro. Like, please give me, <laughs> give me, give me something to have fun with. Oh my gosh. Like, right. I feel like I'm just, uh, I need to, I just need it to get back to normal, please. Yeah. Whatever, the, what something. I just need right. something. Right. No, I feel you there. And you sports there. is that. I, I need to watch some, some, I don't know. Well, what did you watch? The, 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 did you watch Whatever. the finale of Last Dance? I didn't get a chance to yet. Mm -hmm. I will today. tonight, and I'll talk about it next week. So yeah. actually, actually, we're not because next Monday is um, oh yeah Memorial Day. Yeah, that's so, right. That's a whole other topic. All right, but yeah, the next time that I'm on, I will I will discuss it. So, did you like it? I loved it. I watched it today. Um, okay. You know, '90s NBA. I mean, not, nothing like it, right? It was yeah. It yeah. was just. 
And, uh, you know, it was funny because I was watching um, The View this morning and Megan McCain, she is not a sports person, but she said her husband is and he wanted her to them watch together. And she said, this is better than reality TV because <laughs> you find so much behind the scenes stuff that happened yeah, definitely. and um, that you just didn't know. And even Michael um, saying that he said in one of the episodes that you may not like him after watching this documentary. You might see him a lot differently. And I don't think that it wasn't that we didn't like him. We don't like him. We just saw the price it is to be at that level of playing that he did, you know, to be the goat in the industry. You know, it's just, there's a, there's a, there's a, a lot that goes into that. And so while we saw this, you know, like Mike, if I could be like Mike, image, but you don't know what being like Mike was. Being like Mike seemed like it was, it was tough. It yeah. was tough. Um, I saw it was the first episode where he was going on a talk show, I believe, in Paris. Mm -hmm. And one of the mic microphone guys that was actually putting the uh, microphone onto Michael, the next thing you know, the guy asked Michael to sign this piece of paper. Yeah, which was and against like, the rules. But you know, but, rules, but well, well, just, well, well, they were so they, on this last wrong. episode, not to be a spoiler alert, but um, when they were in the playoffs against um, the finals against Utah, and so Which one? Um, the last one, yeah, and yeah, so okay. mm -hmm. and so Michael was in his hotel room with his team that he you know he trusted, and they were trying to find him something to eat. Everything was closed except mm -hmm. for this pizza joint. Mm -hmm. They ordered pizza. Five people come to the room to drop off the pizza. They're looking in the room, looking in the room, and one of his one of his people think something's not right with here. Mike was the only one who ate that pizza. They get they poisoned this pizza. And he was, he was. And that's sick. why he, that's why he was sick. So it wasn't a the flu. They it said was, it was the flu, but it wasn't the flu. But it was stomach. But he, but, but he, but he, he said, I can't not play. So even after go out here and be a decoy, decoy, I have to do something. And that's he sick. ended up having he a great, but he ended up having a great game. He did. I mean, and that's but they were, Michael but Jordan. They were, but they were reporting that he had the flu. He had the flu. But then it showed how Scotty Pickett, Pippen played when he had back problems. He was had back problems. You know, that's extremely, extremely, extremely painful. Um, and how he said, I'll be the decoy. And he was the decoy. Michael told him, you got to play. He said, mm -hmm. he's, cause, and what Scotty would do, he would play five minutes, go out and be treated for five minutes, come back, be five, you know. But, um, you know, it just showed the dedication. You know what I mean? And they, mm -hmm. they focus a lot on Steve Carr, his story. Curry. I didn't realize it. Kerr, I'm sorry. Steve Kerr, yeah. I didn't realize his father was murdered. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, his, his father was, um, he was part of, I, I can't remember exactly. It was something, um, something um, governmental. And he was overseas and he got shot in the head a couple times. Mm -hmm. And Steve Kerr, that's what threw him into basketball. He said, I was not the best player. I was not, he said, he said, um, he said, but that is what got him to, you know, but you know, it was really good. So you, you'll, you'll definitely enjoy the last two episodes. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward. So what do you that. think about these, these, uh, the sports coming back with no audience? Hey, I, I think it's part of the phase, like, you know, even with, with us in society, what do we have? Like phase one, phase two, phase yeah. three. So this is just phase one. Yeah. yeah. Phase one, once once that's cool, then you get phase two and you might start getting getting um fans back in. It might not be a full pack stadium. Right. It you know, it might be half full or whatever. Um, and then they'll just phase it back in. Yeah. No, I agree. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm like, yo, just, it, but it's gonna be it's going to be interesting how on on TV how it plays out. Yeah, you no, don't have the actual fan noise. I'm like, are they going to some kind maybe do some artificial crowd noise or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if and if they do, how is that going to come off? Is it going to come off as being artificial? And being but but you know what? I, I think that sports fans in general will just be happy that sports are back. I just want to yeah, just play, just play. Like I'm still. And I'm going to talk about this for a while. I'm still mad about the Final Four. I think yeah. that they should actually come back with the Final Four. And, um, and, and instead of it being March Madness, 
maybe being May Madness or, you know, Summer Madness or something. Yeah. Like, like, I just think that it's, it sucks that these kids play so hard and then it just mm-hmm. nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I agree. Nothing. It's not fair. It's, 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 it's not, it's just not fair. Not I agree. I agree. Well, hopefully, as we continue to figure this thing out, we will um, do what we have to do to make sure we can still keep, because the people will say it's not just the players that are getting paid, but these are the people that work the session stands, you know, team managers or, you know, people that work within, there are a lot of different variables to people that work um, in these industries. And so hopefully they'll find a way of employing them back, um, but doing it in a way that doesn't, you know, get people more sick, you know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's and it's a domino effect. Like it's yeah. not only um, workers that actually work within those mm-hmm. actual teams, yeah. but it's the hotel staff. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, you know, people. Yeah, people Travel. actually come yep. to cities to go see these guys play. Mm-hmm. They buy the hotel. You know, they they, that's true. they stay there. That's that's an issue. Then you got travel. You know, people yep. have to be flying and traveling. People aren't really traveling anymore to go to these mm-hmm. games. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot. It is a lot. People aren't, you know, yep. going out to eat after these mm-hmm. games or yeah. before the game. So, yeah, it's just... Yeah. Those definitely. It, it, it's expansive. No, it really is. Well, hopefully soon things will get closer back to normal. But, Aaron, tell everyone they can follow you on your uh, social media. First name dot... Well, that's my email. My first name, my last name at um at Instagram. Aaron Cosby on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Just oh, should, should, should I just say that? Man, I'm make sorry. it easy. I'm sorry. Yeah, Aaron <laughs> Cosby at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. All right, Aaron. Well, have a great week. Stay safe. We'll talk again in a couple weeks. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Right back after this. <laughs>